Confess, are you not the Mr. Big of the IRS scam? What do you mean, Mr. Big? I was a victim of the scam. I gave that guy 1700 bucks. Why isn't he in here instead of me, a poor, honest gnome? We have surveillance of you, talking to a guy in the Walmart parking lot, and money being exchanged. That was the IRS scammer! Why did you let him get away? Do you admit that you absconded with a wallet and car that did not belong to you? I was just borrowing the wallet and car. They belong to Buzz 1151. Call him. He can tell you. We did talk to Buzz 1151. That's why you're here. What? Buzz wants me in jail? Fuck him, O'Brien. Grand Theft Auto, felony credit card theft, possible IRS scam involvement. Oh my god! Buzz! Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to part three of this 1934 Westinghouse model WR-24. Hello! You're probably looking at this mess and saying, what the hell is happening here? I thought Buzz was going to wind coils this week. Oh yeah! Well, I plan to do that, but I haven't got my wire yet. And old Buzz was a itching, I'll tell you, I was a itching to power this thing up. So I got my capacitors in. And I got my tubes in with the rectifier tube. Clark, watch your language. I'm gonna try this out with a five inch permanent magnet speaker. And in place of the field coil, I've got these uh, 1200 ohm uh, resistors hooked up. Now this is just to test the unit. I wanna see if it works until I can get the coils uh, fixed on my uh, other speaker. The only capacitor I have replaced on this is this middle one here, and that was eaten by the rat, remember? So I've already tested this without the rectifier. Everything seems okay. I've double checked and triple checked my wires. This looks like a mess, but everything's going where it's supposed to. So I'm going to put the rectifier tube in there, and we're going to power this up. Kind of unusual for the first segment to have intense drama like this, but uh, hey, let's try it, huh? Let's just get it on here. All right, I'll put this baby in. Be careful! She's in. All right, I've got my uh, Variac is hot. The box is hot. For those out there who are new to this, this is my box. This is my voltage. When I turn the Variac over here up, this is going to go up. This is the important thing we got to watch. This is the amps that this radio is going to draw. We don't want to see that spike because if it does, Buzz will have a heart attack. Now I have to admit, I got butterflies in my stomach and I'm just nervous as all get out. I'll tell you. I'm scared to death. You got to test it. So here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to start it out with 30 volts. You can watch it over here. I'm so nervous. I'm sweating like a pig. Okay, it went up, then down a little bit. Oh, look at that. That is the DC B plus voltage coming off one of these caps here. These are new caps I got. So they're uh, charging up pretty good there. That's about 50, I think. 50, wow. <laughs> Keep your eye out for smoke. Now all these old crummy looking caps here. Don't push it. They haven't been changed. I like to push things to see how far I can go with the original stuff to see if it still works. Okay, we got 87 volts DC. We're looking good on the uh, the amp draw. Let's just bring it up to 60. Now I'm thinking this is going to be over 300. I'm not sure. We'll just play it by ear. Yeah. 
200 volts DC, a little over uh, 0.2. I think we can go up to uh, 80. Go ahead, my friend, but move very carefully. I got my. Oh. Shit, what's that? Hey, we're getting something out of the speaker there. Oh, that thing working. Oh. Be careful. We're not even at uh, 90 volts yet, and uh, we're getting something out of the speaker. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's just. Uh, Nah, I'm not getting nothing there. If this works, it's gonna be a miracle. Let me check these field coil resistors. They're not, they're just lukewarm. Okay, we're at 90. This is the point where the radio would usually work if it's gonna work. The B plus looks pretty good. I didn't expect it to be uh, as low as that. I can hear a buzz on the speaker. We're by a little over 0.4 amps, which is 400 milliamps. Let me see if I can tune something. I got the antenna hooked up to it. Oh, yes. Gotta figure out which band I'm on here. That's the short wave. One, two, three. All right, that's the uh, broadcast band there. <laughs> Holy shit. Pardon my French there. Well, can you beat that? Can you beat that? I've got a big grin on my face from ear to ear on this. This is the tone switch. Hey Brandon, your 1200 uh, fake uh, field coil resistors are working. Wonderful, wonderful. That's the uh, station that's nearest me. Looks like that's the only one that's picking up. Let me go back on toward the lower part of the dial. Holy mackerel, Holy mackerel. <laughs> oh, God. Look at those crap capacitors in there. It's working. Wow, this is picking up stations. <laughs> Incredible! It's running at 90 volts. Let's bring it up to... Uh, about 100... There's full power right there. Uh, we're over a half an amp here. Potentially they get 
involved in the U.S. Act. So cracking down on these states with Wow. Uh, and, and he has the resources to get it done. sounds this good now picking up that many stations where do I get those caps replaced well there you go there you go 1934 Westinghouse powered up running for the first time in how many years 50 nobody knows I'm gonna come back and play an old song through my transmitter Wow, the alignment is really off on this thing uh, my transmitter is uh, past 1500 and uh, I went all the way over to 1500 all the way to the end couldn't pick it up there so I flipped it up one more band and it, picking it up uh, on that second band that short wave band so uh, let's uh, see how it sounds here Look, Kate Kaiser here. It's tone switch. I'm just flabbergasted that this is working as well. With the original caps in there. Christmas music here. I want to order a hug for my brother, a kiss for my dad and mother. When you're fixing my sweetie's Christmas tree, put on a lot of love for me. Hello there, Mr. Kringle. Ting-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Hello, Mr. Kringle. Ting-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Now I don't want to be a smarty. Sounds pretty good. Talking to the right party, you say it's all right because your other name is Santa Claus. Well then, hello, Mr. Kringle. Well, here it is, over two hours, and it's still playing. Just amazing. Marvelous, wonderful, amazing. Transformer is mildly warm. Feels good on a cold day to warm your hands. Fake field coils, uh, resistors are warm, but nothing overly warm. High wattage resistors feel good. Boy, when they made this in 1934, they made it right. I think this is going to be one of my favorite radios when it gets completed. Let's hope so. Listen, just starts me reminiscing. But soon. You're looking at my new wig here. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? This wire was on this little spool here. Oh my god. And I've got to wind that. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm going to weigh this and see how much actual wire is on there. Okay, I've got it into a, a baseball size shape. It's 
turn this on. Uh, set for ounces. I'm going to weigh it in ounces and grams. 8.5 ounces. 8.5. Uh, let's see here. Unit grams. All right. Here's grams. 240 grams. Let's go back to ounces and just weigh it again. 8.5. Okay. That's what I need to do. What I'm going to do when I get my wire, I'm going to weigh the whole thing. If it's a pound, it's a pound. I'm going to keep winding. And uh, when I think I have enough, I'm going to take that uh, supply wire again stick it on here the difference between one pound and what I need so I need seven and a half ounces left on the spool then I know I've got eight ounces on the uh, supply here comprende well the time has finally come we're gonna wind the coil it's about time I've got my hub here this is the original hub but I had to add these uh, two edges here because the original edges were nothing but uh, cardboard and uh, tape so these are rubber edges here's my spool I got my name on it I got uh, 2016 Trump there's my YouTube channel and the date in case anybody in the future has to unwind this they'll know who did it exactly so in order to get this to work, I'm gonna stick this side in here. This threads in here like this. As you can see, this is called my buzz winder. Well, that's pretty cool. And you too can uh, make one if you want. I'm a smart one. Mine didn't cost me a penny. I had the materials in the garage. And I got brains, too! This is my locking uh, nut. This goes in here like this. Now before I uh, go any further, here's my wire here. Now earlier I weighed uh, what I need. Had the big ball of wire there. And that weighs 240 grams. Okay. This spool of uh, wire weighs 527 grams. So if you take 527 minus 240, I need to uh, get this thing to 287 grams. And when it looks like it's almost full, I'm gonna weigh it. Let's take my 47, uh, year old drill this is gonna be hooked up like this ingenious uh, just tighten this up your work is ingenious okay have my locking mechanism here it's quality work all right I'm gonna wind it over instead of under you know the big controversy about your toilet paper when you got it on the roll, do you like it over or under? I always like it over because it looks right. That's what I'm gonna do here. This is very important. I don't want this end to break off. I'm going to bed. I don't know yet how I'm gonna be, uh, probably just be using my hand. But until I get a feel for it... Don't think! Feel! Then I don't know. I want to see how long this takes. So let's just set this clock. I'll just set it one minute to midnight. I'm going to try to do this without screwing up. It's just... Uh, Start this a little bit. 
Very X hot. Here we go, folks. As you see, the first pass was pretty sloppy. I need to concentrate on this. And so uh, I'll be popping in time to time to show you my progress. see by the clock it's been an hour and a half doesn't seem like an hour and a half there was a couple times I had to stop it because when I was going over to this side it uh, went over this uh, this edge of this hub here and went onto this thing here so I had to uh, carefully stop it and then wind it back but all in all it's not so bad this is pretty much filled. I think it's time to weigh this. Now, like I said earlier, we need this to weigh 287 grams. All right, we're looking for 287. Whoa. Okay, that's just great. It just shows you 
What you can do if you put your mind to it. The moment of truth has arrived, I shall measure the uh, the ohms on this coil. Now I had no idea what it measured before because it was open, and there's no documentation on the schematic. I uh, I scraped the enamel off here, so here we go. I got it on the 2K scale. Like nothing's happening there. Let's go up for. We got about 3K. Hmm. I wonder if that's too much. That's something I wanted to ask Brendan. You know, what if you wind too much on there? Does it hurt it or does that increase the magnetism or, or it draws more current because it's more wire? So we got 3K here and we could always take some off. That's a lot better than being short, right? <laughs> that concludes today's episode. The radio's working and that made me very happy. And this. This was a piece of cake. That's what John from Arkansas says. Piece of cake. An hour and a half, come on. To save a, an old speaker, I'd do it anytime. So until next time, this is Buzz. Just you wait till I get you in my coils. Ooh.